Okay, so um, this is the first nursery that we went to and all the goodies that I got from there. Um, honestly, I don't even know the name of all of these. I know that this is Lamb's Ear, which is a perennial. And um, crazy enough, it's only about five bucks. Uh, you guys can tell me or not if that's affordable, but I felt like it was. Sorry, let me get this glove off. Um, these looked much better when I first got them, but as you can see, I need to water them. Oops. Um, they were only $2 each. Oh, these are zinnias. So, both of these, different color zinnias. Um, I need to get these transplanted and watered ASAP. This is echinacea. I think this one was like a purple. And then I got two um, Celosia plants. So that's all that I got from the first nursery. All flowers, um, some which, you know, are mostly for pollinators. And then um, two are perennials. Zinnias are annuals, right? I think so but they um, self-seed pretty well, from what I understand. So, um, anywho, that's what I got from the first one. And then let me get the other box so I can show you the other one. Okay, so um, this is <laughs> the second box. And as you can tell, there is a ton of stuff in this box. Um, I believe I got two flowers and then the rest are edibles, um, vegetables. So as you can see, I got a white coneflower or echinacea. I don't remember what this one is called. I just really loved the um, flower uh, and how pretty it is. Like, look how bright, it's like a purpley blue color. Um, it's really, really pretty. So anyway, so I got that. I feel like I need to take them out of this box to really show you all. Balloon flower. So that's that one. It's the white echinacea. Ooh. Oh yeah, a basil. And then this is, I believe, the patio tomato. Pretty decent size. It's about um, probably 14 inches tall. And it has some decent tomatoes on it already. So yeah, that's one. So sit that over there. I'm pretty sure that's the spot it's going to live in. This is, what is that? Did I get a bonus plant? Interesting, we'll have to assess that. <laughs> uh, this is a habanero. You can see it has lots of flowers. Also desperately needs to be watered. Don't fall. Okay. Let's take this icky leaf off of here. Um, these are Anaheim. Look how many peppers are already on it. So, I'm excited about that one. Right, Anaheim? Yes. Anaheim pepper. And then this is such a cute little pepper plant. Hot red cherry. Look how they grow. They'll look like that at the end. So I'm excited about that one. And then this is what I was saying. Is this a bonus plant? This don't look like tomato. This 
doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna have to cut that out. But then this is the chocolate cherry. So it'll look like that. To get a nice like burgundy brown color. Okay, and that is from the second nursery. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a lot. The second nursery's total, you can see I got much more. It was only $20. And then those flowers from the first nursery were like $35. <laughs> so definitely shop around, but you know, it was my birthday and I was treating myself. Um, well, I was being treated <laughs> by my boyfriend. So um, I got a lot of good stuff. We're excited. I just have to find a pocket for all this stuff, you guys. So wish me luck. Um, once I get everything placed, I will show you all again, um, but I need to go call on the Space Master, um, which is my boyfriend, and get him to help me sort all this out. All right, see you in a few. Okay, y'all, so I have finished replanting and digging up um, old spent plants or ones that aren't performing. So let me give you a little walk around the garden. All right, so still have my blueberry. Here's the zinnia. Put them in a separate um, thing by themselves. That's that tomato that I need to really get rid of, but don't worry about it. It's just gonna hang out. Um, this is still my um, started from seed, Mexico midget and my fish pepper. Um, over here, I have the chocolate cherry that has a lot of tomatoes on it. Hopefully they do okay in this uh, transplant. And I got my cage around it, thankfully. Um, seems like I got it to work out pretty safe. Um, and the lovage is still over there in the corner. This is my valerian. Um, I've had some issues with it, like kind of rotting or something. I don't know, the leaves keep like wilting and turning brown. So I um, pruned it and it's doing all right. Here's my borage in all its glory. The lamb's ear, I put in a small little hanging basket. I still have my nasturtium. And then here are three of my pepper plants. So this one is the Anaheim that I just bought. Um, as you can see, there were like three, um, three or four like really big peppers um, already on it and I harvested those and we ate some yesterday. Um, so uh, I got that there, got my little hoop here so I can just, you know, put some twine or whatever to help support it um, once I need to. Here is the hot cherry uh hot red cherry i want to keep wanting to call it a cherry bomb but um the cherry pepper um this is my anaheim that i bought as a start a while ago that just won't hold on to flowers but that's fine so there that is here is the habanero uh pepper plant so he's hanging out right here i'm not sure if i'm gonna need to stake it if i end up needing to then I'll get something smaller and just like put a regular stake versus one of the big hoops um but either way I think I have room for the hoops I can just kind of put it going this this way on here um here's my white echinacea looking beautiful I just saw something crawling just want to make sure we're a friend and not a foe so yeah all these beautiful buds on it. I think I saw one down here even. Where'd you go? Yeah, like right, right, right in there, see? Um, yeah. And then this is my purple echinacea. So cute. At least I think it's supposed to be purple. The stems are a different color. Here's my chamomile grown from seed. Doing so lovely. I moved my melon here. <laughs> So this is the Minnesota uh, Midget Melon. So we'll see how it does over here. Um, it seems like it did okay in the transplant, didn't get wilty or freak out or anything. So 
we'll see how that goes um i don't even know that i really have enough time to get any fruit from it at this point but we'll see there's my sunflower planted from seed and my other mexico midget this is my patio um tomato that i bought from carpetinos um so as you see it's got a lot of fruit on it and it looks pretty good so that's where i housed that um i left my marigold here but as you guys remember i had a lemongrass here i took that out and put it there so here's where my lemongrass will live for a while and as you guys can see she's been actually growing pretty well so i'm proud of her here is my spearmint that I started from seed that is just flourishing. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me sad. I wish that I left the um, lemon balm that I had in the corners here. I don't know if y'all remember that, but um, I wish I had left it alone. But it kept having um, aphids and like hanging really, really low to the soil and getting all um, gross whenever I'd water from like um, splash up. So I took them out but whatever. Spearmint's doing good. My apple mint, um, as you all know, has been a problem child. It still struggles from now, um, every now and then, but um, it's doing really well. I just try to stay on top of um, actually harvesting from it. And I think that is really helping keep the um, powdery mildew at bay, making sure it's got lots of aeration in there and um, that I'm not over watering it. And then here's my stevia. I pinched some more of the tops off um, the other day so that it can spread out just like that one um, and give me some more stevia. Um, this does not live once it gets cold, so I want as much of it as possible um, so that I can dry it and we can use it in whatever we want to cook with. So as you guys know, I have my cucumelons all big and crazy um still have my space master cucumber and my zucchinis actually i think i gave you guys a tour yesterday but you're getting a second one um a blackberry here's where i moved my lemon verbania y'all i didn't know how big this girl was it was over here and the roots were like all up in the other little pods um so it is pretty robust so now she has her own container um it smells amazing every time you touch it um so there's that here is my georgia collards having a fit she's having a fit um which i don't know why the soil is plenty moist but we'll get her sorted out it's fine um so i moved all my little georgia collards here and i took that big one out um it had all kinds of cabbage worms in it and it had powdery mildew so i just took it out and put the new babies there or you know old but new in there um i relocated the basil that was over here to here here is a new sprout of i think also minnesota midget melon i don't why just let it grow you know here's the balloon flower i also um picked up my strawberries um i sort of rearranged this planter so that the strawberries were up higher and i could get to them a little bit easier um so they're on i believe these three tiers yeah um so there are two below it and two, two above it yeah right i think so yeah because there's seven tiers yeah mm-hmm so there's two below it and two above it um and all of my strawberries are there and then um as you can see over there i put that basil plant that i purchased um i also put the celosia in here um because they're pretty small and so i'll just have to um, be a little bit more on top of the rotation and making sure that i come out at um a little later at night but in the nighttime and um rotating this so that they all get sort of equal play at this little bit of sunlight that my balcony gets um and i think that's it you guys that's all of it everything that i moved around 
I'm really happy with how it came out. I've got my cages and my little bamboo arches. So I feel like my plants will be plenty supported. Um, so funny. Oh, did you go away? I don't know where it went. Oh, there he is. Funny story. On Miss Linda's live today, I was just talking about how much the bees love my borage plant. <laughs> and they come and hang out on the same five flowers all day, every day. He flew away now because he saw me watching him. Too much pressure. Um, but I have so much, so much other um, plants that they can hang out on and they just don't. Like even now, okay, I've never seen them on the nasturtium. Granted, the nasturtium looks a little crazy right now but um you know it's going through a period of transition we have some new buds coming so they'll have more to play with at that point oh he's back mm, and he's gone <laughs> he's not they don't really care for this one i don't know why um i never see them on my strawberry plants i feel like i have hand pollinated every oh. strawberry that i've gotten might not be true but that's how i feel I never see them on my chamomile and i haven't seen them yet on any pepper plants or my echinacea even though those are brand new but i don't know we'll see we'll see if i can you know entice them with some of the other goodies that i have in the garden for them so anyway thanks y'all so much for coming by and checking out my channel and my little garden um i just really love being part of this community and being able to talk to you guys and you know troubleshoot with you share with you different ways that i can grow or that you can grow in a small um space it's totally possible you don't need a lot of room to grow some food um, I know that my space here is six and a half feet by four. Okay. Use all of that space from the ground up as much as you can. Okay. And you will be able to have a really productive garden. All right, y'all. Um, don't forget to hit the like uh, button and subscribe if you want to see more from my garden. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.